Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can import a chart of accounts into your Odoo account or database. So let's get right into it. Now, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need the accounting module, which you can see here on my dashboard right now. And you sh should install this either uh, while setting up the database, you have the option to choose which modules you want. From the start, you can choose the accounting one there, or you can go into the apps menu, search for the accounting module, uh, which is right over here and click install as you would for any of these other ones. And once it's installed, you can start using it. So let me go back into my dashboard. And now we're going to go into my accounting module. This is what it looks like, or rather, this is what the dashboard looks like uh, when you first um, open up the module. And whenever you open up the module, it'll be like this, except there will be changes, of course, depending on the analytics and everything. Uh, but to import a chart of accounts, you're going to go into configuration and you're going to go into chart of accounts. Uh, and over here, as you can see, this is the list you have. And this is where all your charts of accounts will be. And in the top left, you have two buttons, you have new and you have import, you're just going to want to click import. And as you can see, you can import contacts, you can import chart of accounts, which is what you want. This is the accounting import options, you can go into the import and choose what you want to import from here. Uh, you also have journal items. But what you're going to want to do is you can import the chart of accounts by just clicking here. And as you can see, you can drop to upload the file, uh, or you can just upload it manually, uh, or click on this button and select the CSV file, uh, which you want. Now Excel files are recommended, uh, recommended as formatting, uh, but you can also use CSV. That's completely at your discretion. But other than that, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.